so it's been a little bit since I made another video so this seems like something that appropriate to do it with because you know just, as you can tell he starts off with a god tier character this is the first time I've ever fighting this guy and I've been trying to main well I've been maining Ultra Instinct Goku and so far it's going pretty well and obviously he's AFK right now so I stopped you know going after him but I only did one combo but you will uh, you'll see why I'm making this a video as it's obvious this guy likes key stunning and all that and you know playing timid as shit <laughs> with literally one of the best characters in the game so this is the first fight and I can already tell how he plays he likes to key stun especially against the ultra instinct which honestly it's smart I can understand why he's doing that but why snap vanish through most of the fight like why and he does it through almost all of this fight he almost never attacks me without any kind of key stun or anything only time he does is when I'm basically stuck in a frame and I don't I don't key stun or anything or key cancel or anything like that because I feel like it makes the game you know too easy it's, it's, it's a mechanic in the game that's basically training wheels I don't it's, it's, I'm not saying it's cheap unless you do it as much as this guy if you key stun and key cancel and all that more power to you if it works out for you good I hope it does but I just hope you don't do it as much as this guy relies on it as you can tell through this fight that is pretty much all he has relied on now I'll give him this he doesn't block mash he doesn't dash block the entire time he just avoids me which I don't respect obviously I've stated that many times I like how soaring fist stopped the comment how right there um, like I was saying play styles like this I'm not gonna respect obviously after this fight I pick who I pick for that simple fact of if you play like this I'm just not gonna respect you I'm going to do whatever I want now because obviously you don't care about you know you, the way you play is being you know kind of a bitch move now obviously he's gonna win this one there's only like 20 seconds left and if you play like this with blue Goku I honestly feel kind of bad for you because you're only running away from a character who has much less of an advantage and, well I just tried to get that one but first one to him all right second fight I go with pickle Rick obviously it's who I use a lot of the time when I come across people that kind of play his way I guess I'm not saying he played cheesy or anything which in a way he did but he didn't he didn't you know use overpowered moves or anything he could have picked blue Goku with super god fist and spam the shit out of it good on him that he didn't do that in the first fight but if you run a key stun that much with blue Goku again I'm not gonna respect you I'm gonna do what I want to win and that and what I want is most of the time to piss someone off when they play like that and he tried deadly dance there his move set I think is super god fist deadly dance Oh, I can't remember what else he uses. I know one of them is impulse slash maybe. This preset for him, I think, is mostly just like strike supers and everything. But that's it's obvious where this fight is. And up. he fucked up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm adding a little bit of memes in there too. <laughs> you skinny ass looking motherfucker. That character is just butt ass ugly. <laughs> But obviously, I'm gonna continue using Pickle Rick. Now, 
as you can tell, I'm going to oh, final blow light grenade, obviously, and mighty explosive wave. I think it was. Oh! But now you fucked up. Obviously, that's his plan for this fight. He saw I play Pickle Rick kind of cheesy, so he's gonna play cheesy in his own way, which I won't respect. Now you fucked up. And I will absolutely fuck him up for it, because angry hit—it's not hard to get out of. It's not hard to get away from. All you really have to do is dodge it, which I show later on. I might have to use final blow. I like that move. Uh, but anyways, this fight is really short, obviously, because he had one plan and only one plan, which was a bad plan, and I basically messed him up for it. And he's obviously still trying to run away, but not working. <laughs> you have fucked up now. Oh god. Done. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. I had to throw in that little edit because, from what I hear, male earthlings and Trunks' grab got nerfed, which means no uh, unvanishable, unvanishable stamina break. As far as I can tell, it can still happen. Like, if you're absolutely out of stamina, which I guess then it's fine, but, and wait for it and you'll see his whole plan with this character. This was his only plan. Watch it. Here it comes. Oh! Now you fucked up! His plan, oh. His plan is to copy me and use Angry Hit, and he troll spun me. So now I gotta make you pay for that, see? Angry hit's not hard to get out of if you know how to get away from it. But you gotta know what you're doing against it and with it. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up wide open. Which, honestly, I do sometimes. I'm not a great player. I do alright, but I don't consider myself good, really. I mean, I'm a... I honestly consider myself better than some certain people. <coughs> Vix Purr. <laughs> uh, but, you know. If you're only going to play like this, I'm not going to respect you. I've already stated that in this video, I know, but... At least when I use presets like this, I don't only use angry hit see I do have other plans with every move I have he only had one plan angry hit spin. I always have more than one plan now you fucked up. Run, he almost got this damn a break but he fucked it up and fucked that one up too which basically guaranteed me a win Especially since Namekian's heal. Now if he had hit that stamina break, he might have won. But, nope. Here I just tried to piss him off. I love finishing fights like this. <laughs> you can't do shit! He got pissy and messaged me. <laughs> uh, no. So I guess this is the preset that he thought... Uh, I had no chance against. Or at least that's what he thought. You are going to see the exact opposite. Key explosion, 10 times Kamehameha, Gallic Gun. I didn't see the others. <laughs> but you can see his plan is obvious. It's the same that it was with Blue Goku. Key stun, run away, and something else but I don't want to spoil it <laughs> that was his main plan I think that and what comes up here in a little bit which I didn't I don't really understand why he does this that was his plan go Super Saiyan and have me do have it be like a knockback for some reason 
It doesn't do really much damage to me when you threw out a random Gallic gun. At least he's still not block mashing. I'll give him that. I, I don't understand why he does that, though. I mean, yeah, it knocks me back, but it doesn't really put you at any advantage. And you want to see how Mystic Flash is supposed to be used? Like this! <laughs> I mean, he got out of most of it, but he still got hit. It kind of stunned him in place to where he couldn't do anything. And it's also supposed to be used like this. Why would you block? You know I have that move. You know I will use it. I literally just used it on you a second ago. <laughs> what made you think you would absolutely beat me with this preset? Oh, I'm not even out of yellow health. You were doing better with your male earthling. I should have grabbed him here. Now that I watch this again, I should have grabbed him. And he tries that again. I don't know why. I think I go for a kind of disrespectful finish here. I kind of, you know, just snap vanish away and everything. Just dodge and here it is. Bink! <laughs> How am I cheating? I know I'm playing cheap. Alright, last fight. He goes with Blue Goku again. And I stick with Pickle Rick. Because, fuck him. <laughs> I figured sooner or later he would go with another god tier character, so. And I decided this one would be the last fight because of the ending was just too perfect. And basically he plays the same that he did in the first fight. Uh, mostly just running away, key stunning. And, you know. I'll give him this. He didn't use... Uh, Super God Fist or Block Mash or anything, so I'll give him that. He wasn't being too cheesy Well, he used Super God Fist, just, you know, not as often as people usually do with Blue Goku. But, um, you'll see, oh, I got my, bro I got my uh, stamina broken there, but he messes up the combo. I remember what happens in this one. He gets that quick two hit off and then the ultimate. Good timing on him for that. Now, I think he's getting just a little bit cocky. Yeah. He's pretty sure he's going to win because my health is lower. And he wants to end it by, you know, time. And I don't agree. And he let go of the block button there. Thought it was over, I guess. And are you okay? Oh, well, you'll see here in a minute. Now... Now what happened there was um, he tried to go for a Super God Fist and I did Namek Finger. A Super God Fist is basically a um, a grab super. Like it's a strike super but it has like a sort of grab frames, you know? Like when you get grabbed there's not really much you can do about it. You just get grabbed and then you gotta get tossed. It's like Namek Finger basically. Once you're hit by it, that's it. Not really much you can do about it until the animation is over. <clears throat> now, once two moves like Super God Fist and Namek Finger clash, what is what happens? Um, they basically stun each other, and now he goes for Kaioken, which is a very bad idea considering how low his stamina is. Watch what happens. Basically, all he's done is give me the win, and he used up pretty much the last of his stamina. With the, if you have your stamina this low while you're using Blue Goku, don't go Kaioken. Because you can't vanish at all. You're basically just stuck there taking a beating. And that's what lost him that fight. Alright, this is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to show the rest of the messages. And obviously he invited me into a party. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to smile everybody. See ya. You make my senses overload. You make my, you make my.